Well, since 2020, the Ann Arbor community has been making strides toward carbon neutrality. The city hopes to achieve what they call a just transition to the energy approach by 2030. Built within the city is a neighborhood complex that has achieved something called net zero. That means a home is functioning completely on renewable energy. 7 News Detroit reporter Jeffrey Lindblom takes us inside this new housing development hearing from the founder and some residents. I'm at a community claiming to be one of the first of its kind here in Michigan, focusing on things like bikes, solar panels, and clean energy. One of their core values, they say, is sustainability. What we're doing here is incredibly unique in Michigan and really around the country. It's a 100% all electric neighborhood with zero fossil fuels whatsoever. Matt Grokoff is the founding developer of the Viridian at County Farm community, which he says comes at a time when the need for an all electric development couldn't be greater and is housed in just the right city. Ann Arbor is an amazing community for this because we already understand we have goals for, for decarbonizing the electric grid, for getting rid of the fossil fuels and showing that we can power our lives with 100% renewable energy. 100% renewable energy achieved by storing electricity inside in-home batteries, charged up high in the sky with solar and down low with geothermal. Powering the day's commute with electric cars or simply flipping on the lights. So every home can achieve net zero energy and have low to zero energy bills. And a couple of those residents are Sarah and Garrett Patterson, who invited me into their home to tell me a little bit about their electric bill. Our electric bill was uh, $2.33, so that was double what our bill was last month. I think that the, this type of community is got, it's the future of sustainable living in general. This is the starting point, right? This is the concept that we can build these types of developments. To have a complete uh, net zero carbon footprint, at least on our living expenses, was an absolute no-brainer. No -brainer. It was a uh, putting our money where our mouth is. Practice what we preach. It's too bad it couldn't be more around the whole country. The home's low energy costs do come with a high price tag, but for Garrett and Sarah Patterson, it's a small price to pay to, in their words, shape a world for their three-year-old daughter. To leave behind a earth that is actually conducive for her to live in. In Ann Arbor, Jeffrey Lindblom, 70s, Detroit. All right, thank you so much, Jeffrey.